How's the energy out here today, Coach? Fantastic. Uh, had a very, very productive practice today. Uh, assignment sound, uh, efficient. The guys made plays, were lined up where they needed to be and did the things necessary uh, to improve on the day. What kind of sorrow knowing that this is coming to an end this season and, you know, the group of guys that you're with and how, you know, probably every year is a little bit different. And yeah, that, so. um, that's sorrow. Uh, you know, you're, you're thankful for the opportunity. Uh, when, when you have seniors say stuff like, man, I wish I had another year, it's endearing. Uh, so we're excited about that. Uh, but more so about, about our future and that this is a step only in the right direction for what uh, we hope to be uh, an ongoing thing every year, uh, practicing in December and preparing for a bowl game. And so uh, bittersweet for those seniors uh, who've been so outstanding for us and have showed so much class and leadership uh, bittersweet to see them move on, uh, but uh, we're going to relish this one and uh, play our very best on tomorrow, and hopefully we can send them out in, in grand style. Frank, I know you have reiterated about this from football ever since the matchup has been made. As you've seen what the guys have done over the last two or three days, has your preaching gotten to each other? Yeah, yeah, we've gotten better. Uh, you know, the thing about it, you can stop them, stop them, stop them, and then one play, one guy, misfit and the ball goes running down the field. And nobody remembers the five in a row you stopped. They just remember the gas uh, that went down there because that's the thing that's most glaring. And so for us is uh, to allow that, uh, to not allow that to happen, to not give up those big plays, not to be lulled to sleep by give, 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 pull, pitch, give, 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 pull, fake pitch over your head. And so, uh, you know, it could be methodical like that, and then out of any, out of nowhere, they take the shot down the field. And so we uh, we have to continue to recognize that and uh, to play well. And I think we're on pace to do so. Uh, we're not all the way game ready yet, uh, but hopefully by Saturday we will be. And I guess the concern is the fact that so few people run that kind of offense. So it's really they don't have any kind of past history. Right. Uh, you know, the only thing for us, we'll, you know, we have to continue to reiterate to our players is. Uh, that today is Thursday. We thrive on Thursday. Uh, we position ourselves to have a great Friday practice, and we practice in attention to detail up to Saturday and through Saturday. And that uh, every series, every drive, uh, halftime, every timeout, it's constant work in progress. That truly the hay is never in the barn. Uh, I, we don't know what that means to say, all right, it's Thursday or it's Friday. Hay is in the barn, now let's go play. We're constantly trying to find an advantage, uh, even throughout the duration of the game. Coach, it looks like the weather and there's going to be some awfully high winds on Saturday. Does that start to, to come into play right now, the way you guys are going to start preparing and getting ready? No, you know, we were very fortunate. Uh, we li live in a very humid uh, city, to say the least. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, the football god smiled upon us and introduced us to it to acclimate our team. So we had a couple of low 40s, high 30 practices with gushing winds, and we were able to practice it. And we went out and we embraced it. Uh, we practiced in the type of gear that we would play in the game with, sleeveless for ball carriers, etc. Uh, and so, and we, we were able to get that done for two to three days. So I think uh, our mindset is, is is right, and so there is no element of surprise uh, that truly, whatever the weather is going to be, it's going to be UTSA's weather.